Hi everyone, Julie is here and glad to see my channel here for the ISA Fruition. And with you in today's video will be 21 grams or how much a person's soul weights. So let's begin. <music> Some issues will now be devoted to topics not related to Ireland, Estonia and immigration question. Let's talk about some philosophical and mystical issues. Um, actually, this issue on the same topic, on the topic of what people usually philosophize about with loved ones or in a typical situation with strangers who met you on a plane, on a train, or anywhere. Some phrase, information about something can sometimes prompt you to some idea, even of the point of action. It feels like someone sent a person to you at the right moment. That soul met you for a reason. And as you understand, today we will talk about soul and in particular how much personal soul weighs. It seems to me that these days this question is asked mainly by people who work in medical field, who were between life and death, or those who have seen movie with the same name um, from beginning of 2000 by director Inyiritu. The main slogan of the movie was the question, how much does life weigh? This movie gave rise to a new round of debate around the fact of the existence of the soul, which was allegedly weighed by an American scientist at the beginning of the 20th century. But more than a hundred years have passed since Dr. Duncan McDougall from Haverhill, Massachusetts, first conducted the famous experiment on weighing the soul in 1901. The conclusion was incredible. 21 grams is the weight of the substance, the presence of which distinguishes a person from other creatures. And it was like this. In his clinic, Dr. McDougall built a special scale bed with high sensitivity, up to several grams. He lay dying people on it. Six terminally ill patients passed through this bed. Observations were carried out mainly on patients with tuberculosis, four out of six observed, because they are usually motionless in the dying hours. And this was an ideal case for the precise operation of a delicate scale mechanism. When the patient was placed on the bed, the scale was set to zero. The scales were monitored until the patient's teeth. At which time the scales recorded the weight loss. It was 21 grams. McDougall draws the following conclusions from his experiments. The undeniable result of experiments carried out on dying patients is the evidence that at the time of death there is a sudden loss of weight that cannot be explained by any natural causes. Is this lost weight really the substance of the soul? It seems to us that this is so. According to our hypothesis, proof of the existence of the soul is a necessary prerequisite for the assumption of the continuation of the life of an individual after physical death. Alice McDougall was never able to patent his discovery. He had no witnesses to the experiment and he had to dismantle the special bed. The scientist was unable to present anything other than articles in several publications in defense of his theory about 21 gram of the human soul. But he managed to inspire the idea among a million of people. Scientists from America, Switzerland, Soviet Union following McDougall have repeatedly tried to measure the soul. And this is what came out of it. In the Soviet Union, on the basis of the now defunct All Union Scientific Research Institute of Broadcasting Reception and Acoustics, named after Popov in Moscow, a special laboratory was created under the leadership of Professor Vitaly Khromov, which studied what human soul is. 
scientists were engaged in capturing the soul substance and its condensation. According to the conclusion of neurophysiologist Oleg Bikhmetyev, the soul is the radiation of all cells of the body without exception. On the monitor screen, its image resembled a newborn child. They even said about Chromov's laboratory that they supposedly do soul transplants, and this happens during the clinical death of a person. However, there was of course no confirmation of this, other than various rumors, and the laboratory itself, like the institute, was soon closed. Later, professor from Barnau Pavel Gaskov was able to prove that every person has a unique soul, like fingerprints. For the experiment, he used ordinary water. Scientists placed purified water next to an absolutely healthy person for 10 minutes and then examined its structure. The experiment was repeated several hundred times, and for each new test subject, the structure of water changed in its own way. At the same time, the structure of the water was repeated in the same person. And overseas, a certain pastor even created a mobile application designed to monitor the spiritual growth of believers. John Ortbeck, senior pastor of the Presbyterian Church, and Bradley Wright, an assistant professor of sociology at the University of Connecticut, invented a simpler way to measure the soul. So, Pulse. This is technology project aimed at recording data on the spirituality of Americans in real time. So, Pulse is supposed to represent the quantitative parameters of the soul, sort of disembodied version of what activity trackers do for the body. After filling out brief information, gender, age, race, nationality, religious affiliation, income level, so Pulse contacts those interested twice a day and asks them questions about physical health, spiritual practice and religious experiences. Here is the level of income in the application. In my opinion, the most important category from which it becomes clear how it's worth to serving client of a church. Client, I didn't make a reservation. By the way, absolutely free, subscribe to my channel, mark the bell in order not to miss new release and push to the bottom if you like this video. Move on. And yes, scientists believe that people, unlike animals that carry out biological program, concern about evidence of the existence of the soul, because man is only one of the all earthy creatures who know that life will be followed by death. Let's go back to 1907, then the New York Times wrote about McDougall's experiments, and then the doctor published articles about his research in scientific journals. The Journal of the American Society for Physical Research in American Medicine. However, the scientific community was skeptical about soul waiting, primarily because the experiments were conducted on too few patients. Doctors also say that 21 grams of soul can be easily lost as a result of sweating. There has always been a lot of criticism, and in principle, it's much easier to criticize than to create or prove something. Therefore, the lack of support from scientific community suggests that hypothesis may very well stand on its own two feet. Anyone familiar with the work of Ayn Rand or with scientific works will understand that the same thing was said about perpetual motion machine, that capitalism does not benefit from the free goods. But perhaps the soul cannot be measured by the instruments available to us, and it needs feelings, not reason. Hmm? After all, the soul cannot be touched or seen. What do you think? Are you skeptical in this topic, or should it still be 21 gram? Write your thoughts in the comments. Well, I said so much, but got a lot of stuff to talk about. See you next thematic video.